really haven't put it together since I uh, did the last video. Uh, what I would like to do is run some tests on it. Um, we're going to put it back together and I'm going to run 48 volts through it and see if we can actually move a piece of paper through the holes. Uh, see if there's any airflow before we uh, mod it out. I'm thinking we don't need huge holes. Uh, I might just open the holes up big enough so they look like that. That should be more than enough. Uh, it's better to have a bunch of really small ones than one, a couple of huge ones. So we'll, uh, we're going to test it with before and after the mod, see if there's a difference in the uh, airflow with this built-in fan. Yeah, this is probably the thing I hate the most is putting these things back together. Uh, well, it shouldn't be too bad with this motor, but uh, but the hub motors is a bit of a pinch factor. So we gotta make sure we get this the right way. What's that being the back? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Okay, so you got to be a little bit rough when you put these things together because they don't necessarily line up very well, so it's good to go. Let's uh, get the uh, controller on this and spin it up, see if we can move some air through this. Okay, so I got it set up at 79 volts, which is going to be my running voltage for this motor anyway. Uh, this is the original controller that I said was dead. Like I said, if the guy would have included a heat ignition then I wouldn't have had to done I wouldn't have had to do this uh, just because you know if, if you're gonna sell a kit without the ignition the heat ignition you should put a jumper or some kind of plug on here to jumper it off so the customer doesn't have to figure that out I'm just acting like a normal customer I mean yes I could have figured that out myself which I did anyway it's at 79 volts and this is what you get
the airflow is not that bad actually. You can feel it. So what we're going to do, take it apart, open the holes up and see if it uh, makes this really flap in the breeze at 79 volts. Drill press out. Still works surprisingly. Same as left in the shed. And uh, she rested up pretty good. <laughs> anyway, so what we want to do is we want a decent bit. That's just going to be enough to just open up the back end of that hole. This one might work. I'll try this one. a little bent. Could be just the way it's sitting in the chuck. And it is. That should do it. I'm doing it from the back end because what it does is when you push on it lightly, it centers it out so you get nice even holes. Take me back to my eyes of days. I mean, uh, the uh, Schwinn eyes zip with the uh, brushed motor. We used to do this. She works pretty good. doesn't look that bad. Now I gotta do this a couple million times and we're good to go. I'll bring you back one. See how nice and neat that is? Uh, definitely the trick is to go from the inside out uh, because when you use a bit that's a little bit bigger than the hole that's there, uh, when you push down leave this loose in your hand and what will happen is the bit will center itself in the hole and it'll give you a nice even pattern like that. It won't be all over the place. Good tip for when you're <laughs> drilling these holes. And it's gonna make a mess, that's for sure.
I wouldn't go any bigger than that, only because uh, you're really weak in this and uh, could potentially fail on you. That's more than big enough for uh, airflow. Yeah, just before we go any further, uh, just be warned, or be forewarned, that opening up any holes on a motor like this is not a safe thing to do. Uh, only because now, uh, what you could do is you could put a screen on the inside that will keep debris from getting in the motor. I honestly don't care. If something gets sucked in here and it explodes, I honestly don't care. I'll just buy another one. But um, the reason they made those holes so small is because they wanted airflow, but they didn't want debris getting in. So they didn't. They were trying to eliminate putting a screen on the inside. But as you can see, you can really see in there, and the air it throws is unbelievable. It, I, literally, you can use this as a as a house fan. It's that it throws that much air now. <laughs> uh, I don't even have to do this, but I will anyway. But uh, it's uh, got some crazy airflow now. It's not only from the front of it but all the way over here <laughs> oh, you see what I'm getting at I think the airflow is pretty good now yeah so as long as you don't get debris in it uh, I do recommend using a piece of screen and maybe putting it on the on the back side uh, I don't have to put it on the front unless you were to stick something in there when it's running it would shatter the fan but other than that that is actually a really good mod if you want to run anything over 48 volts. Uh, the amount of air that's coming through, I wouldn't even worry about a separate fan. The fan that's in there is actually works pretty good. And uh, if anything, there is uh, it actually runs a little bit faster because there's less of a restriction now uh, between the fan and the plate. So there you go, quite easy mod to do. And uh, as you can hear. Got some serious airflow. There it goes.